Hello everyone. Welcome back to my new episode on Excel tutorial. In this lesson, I am going to show you how to find the position and numeric character of the first number in an alphanumeric string. If you like my tutorials do not forget to subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay tuned with my new uploads. As you can see this table, the position, and the character of the first number is represented from an alphanumeric string. If I change any character from the string it is dynamically changing the position and the character values. Let's get started how we can do this. First, I need to check whether the number is included in the alphanumeric string or not. If yes, then detect the positions of those numbers. Next find the minimum of the position arrays, it will give us the first numeric position of the given string. However, it is obvious that the alphanumeric strings are combined with several characters, so the Excel has to detect only the numeric character from the alphanumeric string. For this we can use Excel arrays, so that Excel can read each character and find only the numeric characters. To understand more about the Excel arrays please check my previous tutorial at the end of this video. OK. To confirm the numeric characters from the alphanumeric string, I will use count function. Hence, equal, count, open bracket, then Excel find function, open bracket, the find text argument will be the numbers array, that is from 0 to 9. Hence, I will mention the number from 0 to 9 within the curly bracket, the Excel will cross check these numbers with the provided string. Next the cell number where I want to look into. Then close bracket, finally I will enter greater than 0, this will return me the logical values whether the provided text string combined with numeric letters or not. Next, if the provided text string combined with numeric characters, then I need to find the position of those numbers, else, to be returned as no number. For this we can use Excel if formula. Now I have defined my logical part for the Excel if function. Next, if the logic test returns true then, I need the position value of that character. Cool. As said earlier we need to identify each positions of the numeric characters from the provided string, then find the minimum of the returned array. First, I will use Excel find function to return the positions of all numeric character of a string. Hence, equal, find, open bracket, find text argument will be my arrays, where from 0 to 9. Then the within text argument will be, b4, then ampersand, and the number from 0 to 9 between double quotation mark. Here, the function returned the value 4. Why it is returned 4? OK. Let me explain you the reason behind this. The argument where we used in the find function with an ampersand creates an alphanumeric string. It allows Excel to read the numeric value of the created alphanumeric string, and returns the positions of the numeric character between 0 to 9. To understand more, just select 10 cells horizontally, and use the same formula for Excel find function. Then hit Shift, Control plus Enter key to return the Excel array formula. Now you can see the position value of each character from 0 to 9 are returned for the given string. Without pressing Control, Shift and Enter key, it will return only the position of first 0 character from the given string. And, you can see here, for number 3, it returned the position value 3, since our alphanumeric string has character 3 at the third position, hence, it returned the least position value. Next, to return the first numeric character from the given string, we shall use the minimum position value of this array, then it will return me the first numeric value of the provided string. OK. I hope you have understood the array function where we used here. Finally, to find the position value of the first numeric character, I will complete the if function. 
hence, equal if, open bracket, I will keep the logical argument the same, if retuned true, I will use Excel minimum formula as I explained earlier, and then finally return me the statement like no number if the logical argument is failed. As you can see here, the function returned value 3, since our first numeric value 3 is located at third position. Let's copy down the formula. From the second string, it returned the position value of 4, since the first numerical character 6 is located at the fourth position. Third string doesn't have a numeric character, hence it returned no number. Let me check with few more changes in the string. Perfect. Next, we need the character value to be returned, for this we can use the same if function with Excel mid function. The Excel mid function extracts a given number of characters from the middle of a supply text string. So, I will copy the same formula, and I will just add mid function for value if true argument, hence mid, open bracket, the text argument will be before, next, for the start num argument I will use the same existing function because I need the same position number to be extracted, then only one character, close the bracket, and leave the function as it is. Now, you can see it returned the respective character. Let's copy down the formula and see. As you can see, the second and third character values are extracted, and it is the first numeric value of the provided string. Cool. We have done it for today. I hope you have learned and enjoyed watching this tutorial. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching, please like, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel for all the latest updates. Have a nice day.